thinking about it for a second there, but no, we're going to <laughs> we're gonna see Lucina versus Pac-Man getting the game number one here on Town of City. Yeah, and great job of just breaking her defensive wall right there of the Hydrant. And late just applying the pressure, but now we're about to see a reversal situation. Yeah, Laid, you know, now he doesn't have to worry so much about the uh, the aggressive gameplay coming in from Mars. But uh, excuse me, Galaga is always aggro. But now Kiwi with really good out of shield options and the ability to have a bit of more zoning, oh which God. is going to come to a close because she just got shield breaker, and that is the first stop. Yeah, I just caught her egg. Like, she, she definitely has no more decaps at the moment. Ajax. We end one in 2020. <laughs> An ankles all kinds of broken. Yeah, she plays the new AI. <laughs> <laughs> now for Kiwi, that's that's something that she has to keep in her uh, the back of her mind too because Pac-Man players love to play out of shield. They have the nair, they have the fair, but you have to respect that shield breaker and Laid establishing it early on. Let's see if she can see if she can play around it as the set progresses. Yeah. Oh, just going down there. Trying to get, and now getting the end hit of the super armor and the scoop cleaning this up. Yeah, forcing her to go high on a recovery that time, and now lead with a two stock lead, just staying back, not going anywhere near invincibility. And that's yeah. a stock. Yeah, just missing that grab just by a, like a little tiny centimeter. Yo, all these pack are good with Z catch. I mean, it's you so got, amazing. You better be. <laughs> if you're play, playing this character, you gotta get good at that item play. But like you pointed out before, Laid. He's played his character, yeah. he, and he's really good at using items against people. So that's another thing. If he gets a hold of one of these, you know he's lab the combos with Lucina to get at least something off of the damage. Yeah, he, he's definitely saying, "Yo, I'm gonna do you like 50 back, maybe even maybe even 80." That was a good answer from Kiwi right there. She needs to close out the stock somewhat soon. She can definitely run it back. We've already seen how good uh, Pac-Man players are when they get put into a corner because they can just rack up so much quick little damage. We're seeing what he did against oh. Jackal earlier, trying to go for these uh, drop down side Bs, but that's going to cost him this time. Yeah, definitely wasn't in his favor. And what we're we about to see. Okay, and that early up B, I'm not green with, but that up B, I'm totally on board with. Get up quick and punish that. That move occasionally still the loose button. Much better in this game, but unfortunately trying to read the roll. Uh, end up uh, gonna end up costing her. It was a good idea because of the fact that like Laid has kind of been just going for neutral get-ups yeah. and uh, a lot of jumps. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna anticipate a roll this time. But Laid being defensive uh, and just kind of holding off for a second. Yeah. What are the big traits of Laid? Just being one of the more offensive people. He's really good at like uh, what, what, what Mars describes Laid as being the ultimate weenie. Like, that's a quote from Mars. It, he's basically just what, uh, like, you you deal with online a lot. He's a Wi-Fi warrior. Yeah. He's good at just playing that passive gameplay just enough to the point where you start to overcommit and then he capitalizes big. Yeah, he's a weenie. Yeah, I said it. I know. <laughs> but game number two here on Kalos. I actually really like this stage pick for Kiwi because. You know, she's probably not going to get access to FD in this matchup. Yeah. So this is the next best thing. More survivability and uh, being able to just kind of get some really interesting traps along the ledge, too. Yeah, and we saw, like, an up tilt just come out of Pac-Man. That move is definitely getting some fair use. You know, they always say that that move sucks, and yet I see some of the best combo extensions come out of when somebody lands that, so. Yeah, I, I see T use it, Kiwi, Sinji. All get F smashed by <laughs> my lane in heart, soul, spirit. Oh my! Oh, she wasn't able to get in quick enough to like redrop it, but it's okay. She's gonna get the answer anyways and close the stock out. Yeah, and then setting up the trampoline trap so late couldn't just run past. Getting there and pushing the corner. Good defense by Lay 2 to understand, like, all right, even though the, the Hydrant's right in front of me, that Galaga is not going to shield poke me. She's going to try and cross me up. Let me just wait for the whole, everything to come to a close. Yeah, but it, he ran into that one. Hey, eventually it's going to work, and that's where the big damage comes from. 41% to 75, though. Kiwi looking good. And also, I like the fact that she uses the Hydrant to back away from one miss grab. It's like, if I get it, I get him through the Hydrant. If I don't, the water's going to keep me safe. And now Kiwi coming out with those dares. Oh. That was good because you pretty much have to just hold shield in that spot. Like, you you, yeah. you don't want to contest that. But because Laid knew he was going up to the top platform, he was able to get a free grab out of it. Yeah. Uh, 
respecting the get up attack from Kiwi, but not getting the hard punish off it. There we go, get up. Literally suction him in, and Kiwi doing much better so far. Like, the, the lead was not looking the best uh, for, for Laid, but like just a good amount of damage, so she's brought it back. Yeah. There you go, okay, fall. yeah, ca catching her landing on that one. Now waiting for the hydrant. Good delay. Yeah, that time we're just waiting and baiting out the hydrant. Eventually gonna put it down, and your ability to shut down my play is gonna go away. You see, Laid was looking for the throw down bell right there to go yeah. for a drop down uh, down here. Yeah, but those, those random item drops costing him that situation. Mm -hmm. And now Kiwi setting up again. Cross stage. Uh, Kalos is a big place, man. Yeah, they, they, there's a, there are going to be some times where Kiwi's going to have to accept it. Like, even though she gets survivability, it's going to be on the side of late as well. Like that. But the back throw, going to close it out. 63%, yeah. still looking really good. Yeah, ju that's just one little Galaga combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, missing her item catch right there. Yeah, it looked like Lade was looking for the ability to drop down and maybe close out that last oh. year clean. Here we go. Ja jab lock. Let's see what's going to happen. They're just trying to push Kiwi back off into the late, late situation. Yeah, Lade almost had the right route there, but Kiwi going to get by. Throw it right back at him. Yeah, just making these combos his own. He's set. He did have Pac-Man experience, and he does know how to use it. Oh, j that the animation does linger for a second, so he was almost able to get that F-Smash. Yeah, he, it looks like he just ran a bit too far back. But he is playing Lucina. There is no spacing needed, so he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, Lay looked like he was trying to go for a grab on that bell, but not going to get it. Still, very dangerous situation, and there it is. Kiwi's going to get the bell and get herself game number two. Yeah, and now we have ourselves a set. Both players are on the board, and let's see what Lay's counterpick is. Well, I definitely don't think it's going to be Smashville allowed for sure. Um, yeah, I get, it's gonna go PS2. I'm pretty sure she probably caught off either yeah. Battlefield and uh, or Smashville or both. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm actually really surprised that we went back to Smashville, or not Smashville. Back PS2, to PS2. PS2. with MDSR, she she could have just not allowed. Yeah, she could have just said no. But I think she's okay with the match because yeah. it, it's not like game number one was terrible. Like yeah, it, it was it was pretty close. I, I would have just said no. Me personally. Oh, no, no, she knew. Never mind. You think she, she had to read on the SD? Yeah, she's like, yo, <laughs> Blade, he ain't liking these stocks. C conditioned him just to go so low that he's going to give it up. But that's unfortunate for Lade. Now he's got to work a little bit harder. However, Lade has done a great job of keeping things even. What in? Uh, did that cover so many options? Putting the Galaga out, then jumping up with that down air. If you roll to the side, you get hit. If you roll in or second place, you get hit by the down air, and then she gets the follow up. That was an, a great trap. Yeah, definitely high level IQ from her. Say, man, they're all secretly like college professors. They, they, you cannot convince me otherwise. They're teaching third grade. No, no, you're just wrong. Fourth <laughs> right, so grade. Here we go. The Nair's gonna close yeah. it out at the ledge. She hasn't been jumping too much from the ledge, so that was just good option coverage from Laid there. Get a catch her off. Okay. Using the positioning, waiting an extra second because she knew he was going to get up, and that belt, if that shield poke, would have been the stock. Yeah, and now Lady's is just trying to find something to just come back with. Yeah, he does always have the clutch factor of the, uh, being Lucina is going to be able to seal out stocks definitely a lot earlier, especially if he gets one of those shield breakers. Yeah, but she was anticipating any attack right there, and with that pivot grab and back throw again, no, not selling the stock. Yeah, good DI right to the corner of the stage. However, yeah, see, Laid understands that he knows he can't stay there for too long. However, getting trapped between Pac-Man and the Fire Hydrant, F-Tilt's going to close it out. Yeah. In this game, you definitely lose invincibility the higher your percent is. And Laid was at 180 at that time. So he was just forced off that ledge. Okay, nice. Nice tech, tech right there. He would have got jab locked. But... It does not matter with Kiwi keeping this corner pressure. Yeah, and also with Kiwi here, because she's a stock up, she can afford to go for some of these things like the F-Smash once again, taking it 2-1, well, excuse me, taking a lead 2-1 over late. Like, you can afford to go for those F-Smashes in those situations because you're a stock up. It's like, yeah. okay, you can't get behind me fast enough to kill me. Maybe hit me with a back here at best. But if you hit me with a forward smash, I'm at 90. I still got a chance to survive cross stage. That was really well played by Kiwi. Let's see 
what Lade does to make the adjustments going into the next game here. But you can see he's digging deep. He's trying to find the answers. But this is starting to... This is starting to, like, roll really yeah. fast. The way that she's playing, playing excellently. Lade also playing excellently. See if he can get into a right head space. Bring this to possibly game number five. All right, now coming off. Now playing like himself. He just went straight in. <laughs> you had the right option. However, we had an emergency escape button already prepared. The trampoline's going to let Kiwi get, <laughs> live to see another stock. Yeah, and now she's also herself decided to just push forward and just beat. Both players are just Yeah, playing. they're both playing really aggro right now. Dude, like th This start has been a lot of scrapping. Yeah. Really unlike both of them. And uh, Blade getting rid of the Hydrant. Oh, trying to get that S Bash reach. Trying to call out a neutral get up, but not that's not it. But getting it right there. Yeah, risky play is staying on the ledge for as while as you can, but that was a good reverse bait from Wade. He's like, okay, I know you're gonna come in for this, and you're gonna get into range where the S Smash can't control me. That roll will put me right behind you. Good closeout. Yeah. Okay, back throw. Let's see what the pressure is right there. And just straight raw bell. It is the key to success. It ain't the key. The bell is easily what gets the most mileage for the Pac-Man players. Yeah. They, they said, yo, key is not the move in this game. Not enough DJ Khaled. Okay, fair, <laughs> <laughs> fair to keep him up. I was trying to think of a way to follow up with that. Yeah, yeah, you just got to let him rock, man. Hey, he's in everything. Sometimes you got to let him rock. But this is looking much better he for here uh, for Lay. 27% to 107. Okay, just throwing the belt, just throwing the chair the wrong way. Oh, and just these fumbles from Wade. Yeah, he had the anticipation, but still holding the percent lead, just barely missing that fair. He knew that she was digging for the uh, the ledge. Yeah. A good option coverage from Kiwi. Kind of yeah. baiting him out by putting uh, a few hitboxes in certain spots, and also just going for the single hit jab, make him fall asleep. Okay, just trying to break the trampoline. And that's another setup right there. Up smash, sealing that stock. And she's gained the lead again. Yeah, she and put enough shield pressure on him, too, that if he decided to hold shield, I think it would have poked anyways. Yeah. And she's on basically set point. Yeah, you know, all right, here we go. Lay's going to get himself a falling back air only at 37, uh, 38%. Still very much in a good position. But like you said, Lade only has one more stock to play with, where Kiwi has another game. Yeah, and... Oh my god. She basically had a bunch of setups that just allow free grabs. That's the thing too. If you can start layering those grabs at the end, get somebody to be fearful of holding shield, that's gonna allow you to get that F smash you're looking for in Kiwi's position. Yeah, and then there out of shield just being a good safety tool for Pac-Man in general. And but Blade just not caring and I thought he was just gonna do something else deep. And that dash is just not being able to get the grab. And for Kiwi, she couldn't get the bell, so this is looking good for Laid. If he can uh, keep her off stage, continue this ledge trap, he might be able to get himself this game number four. Yeah, and that Hydra just pushing Laid off before he could break it, and then just pushing him again to not allow him to ledge trap. And yeah, Kiwi having to dig, hip, dig deep here. Looks like he was trying to wait for that jump, but the da uh, aggressive downer is going to get her out of the corner. Yeah. A great use of the Hydra just to cut out the corner. And Ooh, put it, wait. Oh. oh, Kiwi ended up taking the fair instead, so the trade up ends up going into Lade's favor. We're gonna see game number five. All right. What a ridiculous set this has been so far. Kiwi almost getting him. She had the trap. She set up the wall in front of him, baiting the approach, but Lade getting in there just quick enough and for the position she was in, couldn't afford to take that trade there. Yeah. So, game five, I think we might go Town and City or just run it back. Um, they're definitely discussing bands at the moment, so I think we're going to be seeing a change of scenery. I'm not sure if she'll actually run it back to Kalos. We might. Kiwi taking a second to think here. I definitely, <coughs> definitely banned something she was probably looking for. Yeah, maybe they're talking about MDSR. I mean, with MDSR, like, she did let him go back to PS2. Yeah, but so, maybe. But then yeah, he could also just say, nah, you ain't getting Kalos. Yeah. Maybe she doesn't feel comfortable with Kalos. She's taking a good well, long time to think about this. Is it MDSR the last age you want on? So she won on PS2. 
That is true. So she can go back to Callus if it's not banned, but he probably banned Callus this time and now again, yeah. now leaving Talon open. I forgot. Yeah, it's definitely it's not it's normal not the DSR. It is it is the last one you want. That is TDSR. Yeah, it is TDSR. MDSR, DSR. Dave, Dave's it's still rule. Dave's stupid rule at the end of the day. Dave's it, stupid rule, man. We're going into game number five here. We're going to see the town and city. I think you're correct, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he banned the Kalos uh, yeah. after after what went before. Yeah. Been trying to get those counters at the ledge, but it's kind of hard to time on the, the trampoline. Yeah, because he needs to go like a bit lower because Pac-Man's um, ledge grab, he gets it so early that he's just basically avoiding the counter hitbox. Yeah, big damage coming in from that down into up air, and particularly stage positioning. The fact that she has to force the landing. She is, like, you see Pac-Man players do it a lot, but she's been doing a good job of making sure that when she goes for grabs, it's safe. That fire hydrant gets her auto away. Yeah, oh, and now using Ferris to get away from the situation. Yeah, forcing him to the ledge and see what the option is. Layering it so he would jump instead. Good read. Maybe gonna get the tech chase. Uh oh, just couldn't react in time. Yeah, anticipating a roll-in instead. That was good. Going through the platform, making it look like maybe he's going to empty hop or Tomahawk and try and go for a grab. Yeah. Getting her to shield drop instead. And that's going to close it out. Yeah. And Kiwi, who was putting a tear through bracket before, now in her first game five set, I believe, in losers. Yeah, I think pretty much since top 48 began. This is the first time she's been looking at a game five set. So that's a testament to how good she's been playing. But even in the game she lost, it was still extremely close. Yeah. Literally going down to a final trade at the end. Trying to go for the lair, but Laid understanding that trap, not having any bit of that. Yeah, and now the stage kind of playing a detriment to Kiwi with Laid just living and missing the key. She did. She had a really good idea there too because she went for the fire hydrant break yeah. after he went for the double jump. Not going to die to that either, so late getting a lot of extra time out of this uh, this first stock here. Yeah, just trying to show poke right there. And Kiwi missing that trap right there. Uh -oh. See, that time we were talking about how the Fire Hydra actually has been consistently saving Kiwi. Instead, going to come in clutch for late. Yeah, good reversal situation. And blocking that bell, it just looked like Hero's bounce. It yeah. just, just said, get off me. This is rough now, too, because for for Laid, this is amazing. He has 189%. If he can close out the stock now and get two out of this like this first one, beautiful. And still living past this Fire Hydrant, Kiwi has to find an answer. Otherwise, this is going to start to derail quick. Yeah, 211%. This guy is looking like Bowser. The Laid reading the, the, the push back. Just barely missing with that forward there, but Kiwi recognizing it, going to jump away. And what I like about Kuli, even though he's at 211, he's still not afraid to go out there, just like that, taking Kiwi's second stock. Yeah, and you're at that point, too, where it's like, okay, before I was kind of trying to hold on to my stock, still living past the near trade, too. Yo, this guy might make it up to, like, 2,000 percent. He ain't not. He was throwing that down 999. Kuli got the cheat codes. Actually broke the game. Yeah, he's Kuli -Aid now. He's cool. No fall. I'm still just mad that after I finally switched over, you started calling. You finally started calling Kool Aid. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but it's still, this is such a great set between these two right now. Kiwi actually going super aggro. Uh, this is something she does a little bit as the sets progress. She waits until the last minute so she can actually start pulling out these aggressive plays, throw people off, and rack big damage. But Laid now we're answering, and this is starting to get pretty high 77%, and F Smash at the ledge can't close it out. Yeah, and you see the little dashes underneath. Just to like make, make Kool Aid into doing something, but he is not falling for it. It's a bit too late for that. I like the fact that the camera was zoomed so far in that none of us knew where that fire hydrant was going. Yeah. So that the Kiwi yeah. could have gotten many traps, but late not pulling the trigger and staying still. Yeah, these camera tricks definitely not about it. And that bell went nowhere. It just went into the stage. Just got stuffed out, and that's. Well, actually, <laughs> even though he got stuffed out, hey, Kiwi's going to get end up getting caught at the ledge, and that's going to be it. Late is going to take it. Game five, finally putting an end to Kiwi's run. Late almost going down to game number four, but able to close it out in game number five just with excessively high survivability. Yeah. What was it, at like 228 Two, or something like that?